Jsou tady let strany a very simple technique to visualize DIV care of a solar panel or cell. A very simple curve tracer for solar panels showing the current voltage characteristic of the panel at an illumination level. Using just a very simple circuit with a transformer, two diodes, a resistor and an oscilloscope in an XY mode. And let's take a look at the schematic of it. A couple of videos back I was showing this super simple curve tracer for two terminal components and curve tracing diodes, zener diodes, LEDs, diacs and so on. And I was thinking, could this actually work for solar panels? Could I actually measure all the voltage and current combinations at the same time without having to measure them all individually, manually and then connecting them? And it seems that you don't have to necessarily measure all the spots manually and connect them using a line. And this very simple circuit can quickly display the entire care from an oscilloscope. It just uses an AC transformer with a low AC voltage at the output on the secondary, a diode which basically pulls the voltage down on the solar cell, and as the sine wave voltage progresses, it pulls it down to various levels, and if the peak voltage, 1.4 times the AC voltage, is higher than the panel's open circuit voltage or no load voltage, it basically traces all the spots from zero voltage all the way to zero current. There is just a diode pulling the voltage on the panel down. This protective Schottky diode preventing the solar panel from being forced into the negative voltage and there is the current sensing resistor which also works as a current limiting resistor. It limits the current when this diode starts conducting and of course the resistance has to be low enough for it to pull the panel voltage down to zero. I'm testing a 2 volt panel so 12 volts here is probably a bit more than necessary but it works. And here you can see how the channels of the oscilloscope are connected. It's in XY mode. Here is the X channel or horizontal channel and here is the Y channel or the vertical. And of course both ground clips of the probes are connected here. And this is basically all you need. And for the current to be easy to calculate I'm using one kilo ohm resistor. So the reading is one milliamp per one volt. And this circuitry is enough to show the IV curve on an oscilloscope. And you can see the current increases with more light, quite a lot. The current is on the vertical axis and the voltage is on the horizontal and the voltage actually doesn't seem to change that much with the illumination, whereas the current changes quite a lot. And when I illuminate just part of it, it seems to change the shape somehow. The slope is much steeper when just some cells of the panel are actually illuminated. And the voltage is 500 millivolts per division, so it's 2 volts here. And the current is, because it's 2 volts per division, it's with a 1 kilo ohm resistor, 2 milliamps per division. So this was the voltage versus the current, and now let's try to show the current versus the illumination. I'm going to use a power LED 3 series 3 parallel, connecting it to a transformer via a diode and a current limiting resistor, which also works as a current sensing resistor. And with the sine wave, the brightness of the LED and the illumination of the solar cell is going to gradually go up and down, and the current is on one axis, and on the other axis there is the current coming from the solar panel or a cell. I'm using a current sensing resistor which basically has a low enough resistance to pull the voltage down on the panel to a small fraction of the open circuit or no load voltage. So this basically senses the short circuit current. And here's the LED illuminating the panel and when you reduce the illumination you can see this curve going down and this basically shows the illumination versus the current generated. It seems to be almost linear. Maybe the efficiency of the panel goes slightly down at a higher illumination, but this could also be the LED. I guess it's actually the LED because the efficiency of LEDs goes down a bit at higher currents. And now let's delete this resistor. And this is going to display the no load voltage versus the illumination. Here's the open circuit or no load voltage versus the illumination and the curve is logarithmic. And this shows that the current goes up linearly with illumination, but the voltage logarithmically. 
And of course, when I switch my camera from 50 frames a second to cinematic 24 frames a second, you can see the LED flicker. And of course, measuring the panel voltage and current, you can also display the voltage times the current, and this is basically the power, and here's the maximum power point. But unfortunately, this is not visible in the XY mode. And of course I was editing a video and I walked away from the computer for like 10-20 minutes and when I came back the computer was automatically updating without asking. And it automatically closed all the panels where I was editing the video. Is the artificial intelligence already taking over or is it just that people are completely happy paying for a bloody expensive technology yet having absolutely no control over it? And that's a bit sad. I think people should speak up. And this applies in general. You might think that you're the only one with your opinion and you're completely crazy, but once you start talking about your opinions, you discover that tons of other people have similar opinions as you. You might think you're completely alone with your opinion, but when you start discussing it without any censorship, you very often discover most people think the same. So don't let your rights be taken away. When you buy something, you should have control over it. In reality, most people can actually agree with your opinion and, and the crazy opinion of the society might in reality be the opinion of very few, who just happened to be in control. So don't allow the makers of the technology to have that much control over you. Not sure how, but this is just my random thoughts. Don't take me too seriously. I always liked technology, but now I'm a bit scared of it. Not because of the technology itself, but how people can use it against other people, to control people, to extract money from the customers. I believe customers and makers should be in a symbiosis. As I age, I'm starting to like simple things, older things, and I'm trying to minimize the amount of technology I rely on. Probably sounds weird to hear this in a technology channel, but I only like technology I have some control over. And of course, you could also trace the IV curves of a solar panel by just connecting it to a capacitor and tracing it as it charges. Or you could build some test load for it, which can vary the current and go through all the points. But of course, this circuit with the transformer is super simple and it basically keeps refreshing automatically 50 times a second. And instead of the transformer, you can also use a function generator and try different frequencies and waveforms. It works with a sine wave, triangle wave, obviously not a square wave. But the problem is that the ground of the oscilloscope is connected to a different point than the ground of the generator. And they are both grounded, so I have to float the ground of the generator by plugging it into this dodgy adapter which is a bit questionable. From the safety point I shouldn't even recommend it, because it defeats the ground. It's always better to find a common ground, isn't it? The only thing is the voltage drop on the current sensing resistor has to be very low, negligible in comparison to the voltage because it's being added to the voltage. Now not defeating any ground, but the noise shows up a lot here. The current sensing resistor voltage is quite low. So that's it, and if you like my videos, please consider supporting my channel on Patreon, using the thanks button or subscribing. And big thanks to all of you who already support me. And this keeps my channel running.